Hey everyone, this video is going to highlight the use of an in-class or remote use of a buzzer, like a buzz-in for a game, um, through the site Deck Toys. Some of you may be familiar with Deck Toys already and use it for a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm just going to show you how to set up just to use the buzzer um, for like a question and answer to buzz in with maybe teams or single students, whatever you're, you're running in your class. I'm going to just show you what it will end up looking like. Um, so I already have a deck made with just the buzzer. I'm going to preview the deck and show you over here on the right is a demo student version and over here on the left is the teacher view. So I'm going to just go straight to the buzzer on both the demo and the student. The only difference is, is the teacher version has this launch buzzer. So you'll select this, it'll come to this page and it'll say launch the buzzer. As soon as you launch the buzzer, the kids have the ability to see a buzzer and they can quickly tap it if they're on an iPad or click it if they're on a laptop and they buzz in. And so as students buzz in, it puts whoever buzzed in first, second, and then if they're correct, you can actually hit this check mark. Um, and then you can just stay right on this activity um, and say reset the buzzer. And you can go directly to it or end buzzer, ask the next question, and then launch the buzzer again, and it does the same thing. So how I created this is first, of course, I went to Deck Toys. So I've already signed up. Um, you can sign up with Google, so you have a free teacher sign up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. I'm gonna sign in with Google. I'm going to sign in with my email account. I already have a classroom here. It gives you a unique code URL to your um, class. And if I want to create a new lesson, I'm going to just select this plus sign. I can name it. So I can just name it buzzer. Um, I already had one named buzzer too. So I'm going to call this buzzer. It'll take me directly in here and it'll ask me what I want to do. But I want to go ahead and customize the activity since I only want one. And if you scroll down here, but I'm gonna give my directions to my students saying, go to the next activity to find the buzzer. But I don't want any of these um, activities they preloaded in here. So since I'm customizing, I don't want the study set game. So I'm gonna uncheck that. I do want the sl one slide activity, so I'm just going to uncheck the second slide to that. I'm going to uncheck this, un and you just need to uncheck everything that's here. Okay, so now that I've unchecked everything, you can see on my board here that I only have one activity. So this is my start. Here's my activity. So I'm going to click Generate. And I'm going to just say OK for right now. It does give me a nice little preview that shows me what all the activities and icons mean so that I have an idea. But I'm gonna click off that. I don't need to see that right now. And they have the extra pathway. So because I don't, I'm not using this, I'm just gonna click on them to toggle them off so that they um, are gone. And as you can see, I already have my start here set up. But for my learn, I wanna click on this to open it. Now that I have this open, I can simply just click remove because I don't want any of this on here. I just want a blank slide. So I'm going to select remove and it's going to say, um, do I want to remove the slide image? Yes, I do. So it removes everything from it. And then I'm just going to add back in here a blank image. So it gives me a blank screen and then I can do edit slide image so that I can select the text box and add in the text that I want. And I just said, stay on this activity, wait until you see the buzzer. And then I'm going to click save. I'll be in class with them, so I'll be giving them directions as they go through this and get this on their own laptop screen or their iPad. So now I just need to add the buzzer um, app. So up here, you see you have this for all your slide apps. And what's really nice about Deck Toys, they have a ton of slide apps. But like I said, we're focusing on the buzzer today. So you're gonna select the buzzer, and as you can see, you've added the buzzer app here. So if we preview the deck like we did in the beginning of this video, it shows you the student version and the teacher version. So if I wanna launch this buzzer, that's all it will do, okay? So I'm gonna close this preview, and then I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. The buzzer one is the one I wanna send out to students. 
So I'm going to click the drop down next to edit deck and I'm going to assign. I don't want it in my test class. I want it in my practice class. So I'm going to say continue. So I'm going to make sure I have it assigned to the correct class cotton practice. And I'm going to send this link out to my students. So if we're remote, I'll put it in the chat box. Maybe if we're in class, um, they can scan a QR code or I'll send it to them through my LMS. And so right now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this into a browser. Okay. And the students do not have to create an account. So you can actually just have them sign in as a guest student. And I like to, I always sign in with Tupac as my guest name just for fun. I'm going to say, okay. And now all the student has to do is they say, start here, they get the directions and then they go to the next one. And it'll say, stay on this activity and wait until you see the buzzer. So let me put that over here. And on the teacher side, what the teacher will do is click on teacher view and it launches their classroom pad. And then the teacher will just click on the slide activity with the buzzer on it. And as soon as they click the buzzer, they get the option to launch the buzzer. So maybe I ask the question and I launch this buzzer. And as soon as they do, the kids can click it. You can say yes, whether that team was right. You'll see the order in which they um, click the buzzer in. And then you can either reset the buzzer or end buzzer. So if you end buzzer, it goes back to that screen for the student launch the buzzer, it launches it again. Student clicks on it, you can reset the buzzer and it automatically saves you one click and goes back to that. So when you are done, and I have the student logged out, and I'm gonna X, I'm gonna end the buzzer and X out of the screen, but then all I have to do is come back to my dashboard. So that's how you can easily use the buzzer. Once you have it created, you can use this um, deck from deck toys over and over again uh, for any of your classes you can have them all join um, with that unique url and like i said they don't need to sign up so i hope this creates some fun and an engaging activity for you to do remotely or while you're in the classroom